What do you mean by true? Plenty of atheists, when they ask this question, don't ever qualify it. Bible is a story. Is it true? Well, it depends what you mean by true. And people say, well, that's Weasley. It's like, no, it's not. If you ask a profound question like that, is the Bible true? You can't assume true and then cram the Bible into that. You have to make both sides of the equation open to question. What do you mean by true? Well, you're not answering the question. No, I'm just not answering it the way you yeah. want me to. Very well said by Dr. Jordan Peterson. As many of you guys know, I'm a big fan of his. Uh, but there are a number of things that I disagree with him uh, when it comes to specifically the Bible and how we interpret the Bible. And here is talking about truth in a general sense, maybe in a metaphysical sense. Um, and it's a question that philosophers have been asking. Uh, what is truth? As a, as a matter of fact, this is the very question that Pontius Pilate asks Jesus. What is truth? It's one that we ought to consider and think about. And it's one that's going to help us in understanding uh, the Bible, when people ask the question, uh, questions like, is the Bible true? So here are a couple of categories that I've compiled that can help us resolve this issue and know exac exactly what we're talking about and uh, have civil dialogues with people without talking past each other. Okay, so this is not an exhaustive list, but it is a list that I think uh, can get us started on a, on a pretty decent uh, road. Is the Bible true? One of the ways that I hear people ask this question is in regards to its historical accounting. Is the Bible true in its historical claims? Uh, is the Bible making up historical facts? For example, one that comes to the surface is uh, claims about miracles. So when the Bible says Jesus healed someone, is that actually a historical claim that is being made that could be trusted? Or is that one where we cannot trust it because the book includes things that aren't historically accurate. Pretty conservative Christians uh, that take the Bible as the Word of God in bo both of its historical accounting and uh, within understanding the Bible in, in its proper genres will say, yeah, it is true in regards to that. Uh, is the Bible true philosophically? That's another way I hear people ask this question. And generally people here are talking about, does the Bible make claims that are contradictory? Uh, does the Bible make claims that are you know, counter to our philosophical inclinations. I mean, flat out contradictions all the way to maybe some philosophical areas that people are unwilling to say, bite the bullet on it. Third way I hear people ask this question is, is the Bible true scientifically? Probably this is the one that most people in uh, beginning their dialogues ask like, oh, is the Genesis account, can it be understood in a scientific way? Uh, are the claims of the Bible scientifically accurate? Are they completely different? Our scientific understanding of the universe and the Bible is not even dealing with that? Or is it dealing with it and making certain claims about it and how can it be reconciled? So is it true scientifically? Is the Bible true when it comes to our experiences, meaning the human endeavor to understand life, an effort to live the good life, a mature life, so the Bible has something to say about that? Is it true in those claims? So Dr. Peterson is completely right in saying, hey, what do you mean by true when you ask a question like, is the Bible true? And I find it, uh, interestingly enough, that plenty of atheists, when they ask this question, don't ever qualify it. And they usually are just talking about this in one of its senses. And it would be the scientific one. Uh, most of their questions are of a scientific nature. Uh, say someone like Richard Dawkins, who's an extremely poor philosopher, uh, but he addresses the scientific concerns, who actually does a disservice when it comes to understanding the Bible within its proper literary genre. One thing here I think that comes to the surface is when Jordan Peterson interprets the Bible, and this is maybe my major issue with Dr. Peterson, is that he immediately jumps to psychoanalyze the Bible. And I would say he's not doing proper hermeneutics to the text, and he puts his own input into the text rather than allowing for the text to speak for itself. And so when it comes to the claims of whether the Bible is true or not, we got to categorize it probably as to in what category we're talking about when it comes to the truth of the Bible. Generally speaking, I think we can even understand truth as that which corresponds to reality. So something is true because it corresponds to reality. This is called a 
correspondence theory of truth. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, the bell notification, and make sure you share this video out with different people who are asking the question of, is the Bible true? Thank you.